Good afternoon. Welcome to Noonday Prayer. I am here joining you from home. Uh, Julian's daycare is closed, so I'm home, uh, but he is currently asleep right now. Uh, otherwise, he would be with me. Uh, so, let us begin Noonday Prayer. We are on page 103 of your Book of Common Prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for today is Psalm 76, which can be found on page 692 of your Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 76 on page 692. In Judah is God known. His name is great in Israel. At Salem is his tabernacle, and his dwelling is in Zion. There he broke the flashing arrows, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of battle. How glorious you are, more splendid than the everlasting mountains. The strong heart have been the strong of heart have been despoiled. They sink into sleep. None of the warriors can lift a hand. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both horse and rider lie stunned. What terror you inspire, who can stand before you when you are angry. From heaven you pronounce judgment. The earth was afraid and was still, when God rose up to judgment, and to save all the oppressed of the earth. Truly wrathful Edom will give you thanks, and the remnant, remnant of Hamath will keep your feasts. Make a vow to the Lord your God and keep it, let all around him bring gifts to him who is worthy to be feared. He breaks the spirit of princes and strikes terror in the kings of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So our reading today is going to be from Genesis, Genesis 2, verses 4 through 8. So let us read from Genesis. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise up from the earth, and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed Adam uh, from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the Adam became a living being. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and there he put the Adam whom he had formed out of the ground the Lord God had made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, and the tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, so in this Bible translation, it does say man, um, but I was saying Adam. Um, that's where we get the name Adam. Um, but until uh, we have uh, both... Um, man and woman, uh, there is no distinction at this point. So Adam just means human. Um, so God made human, humankind, from the dirt, from the clay, um, from the wet earth that was the soil at the beginning of creation. Um, and when we go to Ash Wednesday, uh, we will get our sign of the cross put on us in ashes. Uh, and Bob and I will say, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And that word dust, um, uh, it makes me think of, of the grave, and it is meant to. Uh, it is meant to remind us of our mortality. Um, but I think also it should remind us of life. Um, there are, there's 
some people, um, this is not sanctioned by the Episcopal Church, but there are some who instead of saying, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return, they say, remember that you are topsoil and to topsoil you shall return. Um, because God was using this rich earth at the beginning of creation to make humanity. Um, and so it is not just dust that we are made from, but it is this rich black earth uh, that is fertile and ready for growth um, that God is making humanity with. And I think that is a good reminder in the midst of Lent. Uh, we are thinking of our mortality thinking of our sinfulness through Lent, we are also thinking of our, the life that God gives us. And we are thinking of the belovedness that God bestows upon us. Um, so it is both things. It is both that we are sinful and mortal and that we are beloved, and we are full of the life that God has given us. And so as we go through Lent, I'd encourage you to think of both of those things, uh, to think not just of sin and death, but of life and love, uh, which are as surely uh, what God sees us with. Uh, as just sin and death. Um, we, I, yes, so I, I wanted to bring this passage to the foreground um, to remind us that it is both things uh, that we go into Lent uh, to remember. Um, and to also think that as we choose our Lenten practices and as we choose the things we're going to do, um, to remember this is a time to come closer to God. Um, I think, I don't know, for me growing up, um, sin was this thing that I was made to be ashamed of. Um, and it is, sin is not great, uh, and we all have sinfulness. We all sin against each other. Um, but I don't think that it is meant to be a source of shame. It is a truth about us, but it doesn't get to define us. Because we are also beloved, and we are made in that belovedness. We are made to be good. Um, and so the purpose of Lent isn't just to shame us, or isn't at all, I think, to shame us uh, for sin. It is to call attention those places where we do need to reform our lives um, and to remind us that no matter what, we are beloved by God. As we go through Lent, especially this Lent in year B, uh, we are going to hear a lot of the covenants that God made with Israel throughout the Old Testament. Um, and we don't get one from creation, uh, though I think it's there because God is creating and making everything good and preparing creation for humanity. Um, but we'll go through the covenant with Noah, uh, which was a covenant not only with Noah, but with all of creation. We will go through the covenant with um, Abraham. We'll go through the covenant with Moses. Um, and each of these times, uh, there may be something that God asks of the people he's making the covenant with, um, but not often, not as often as you would think. Often this covenant comes from God first. And out of the covenant that God has made, then people are called to respond. 
Uh, and so you can see as we go through all these various covenants how God has loved humanity uh, from the very beginning. Uh, and I love to see that progression uh, in this year B uh, cycle of lectionary readings. So pay attention to that as we start into our Sunday lectionary for Lent. Uh, and remember that we are both sinful and mortal and beloved and full of life. Amen. So let us continue on now with our prayers. We are turning to page 106 in your Book of Common Prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross, and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray for those on our parish prayer list and for those in our hearts. We pray today especially for Pam Tucker, for Brian Caro, Joanne House, Gloria Thompson, Sally Todd, Maggie Clickman, Steve Russell, Bishop Curry, Sally Gordon, Denise DeConti, Kathy Garrett, Ann Annis, Dick Kressig, Charlie Swift, Barbara Caffrey, Holly Payne, Jan Packard, Dave Jacques, Beck Saunders, Tony Succi, Pam Painter, Karen Intreary, Candy Burquist, Dave Wilkinson, Jen Morton, Marina Robertson, Henry Vixelio, Anna Clark and family, Bill Gentry, Rick and Randy Williamson, Peter Hogg, Linda Flasta, Jan Hudson, Elizabeth Simpson, Bridge Spangler, Alexandra Carter, Jennifer Lee, Earl Morris, Ben Gentry. We pray for God's vision of a beloved community to become our vision for this world, and we pray for peace in the nation and in the world, particularly in Ukraine, Syria, Sudan, Gaza, and Israel. We pray for those who are deployed everywhere, but especially those from our parish, including Nick Rudnick. And we give thanks. We give thanks for birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, today, on the 12th, it is Bob Perrine's birthday. And tomorrow, on the 13th, we celebrate birthdays with Rachel Rule, Robbie Rule, and Zachary Hughes. Then for anniversaries, today on the 12th, we celebrate an anniversary with Chris and George Candler. And then uh, on the 13th, we celebrate anniversaries with Brian and Diane Miller and Pearl Wendell and Richard Drumwright. And also tomorrow, um, I am celebrating an anniversary myself uh, for uh, the ordination to the priesthood. So it is uh, the, the third anniversary of my ordination to the priesthood tomorrow on the 13th. So celebrate with all of those. Uh, wish them happy birthday and happy anniversary when you see them uh, and um, celebrate a new year. All right, this week we are beginning Lent. So tonight, or not tonight, tomorrow night uh, is Shrove Tuesday. Uh, we will have a pancake supper from 5.30 to 7.30, put on by the men of our parish and our youth as a fundraiser for a youth retreat this summer. Uh, and then on Wednesday, it is of course Ash Wednesday, there will be no noon prayers this Wednesday. So actually, 
I need to tell you birthdays for the other two days also, so let me do that in a moment. Um, but for Ash Wednesday, um, we will have services at 7 a.m., noon, and 7 p.m. in the church, and then we will have a special family service uh, geared to help young children understand Ash Wednesday. Um, it will be at 6 p.m. Uh, in the Great Hall. Uh, so make sure you come out for one of those services, and we hope to see you there. And let us celebrate birthdays and anniversaries for Wednesday and Thursday also, uh, since we won't have noon prayer on Wednesday. So for birthdays on the 14th, we'll celebrate birthdays with Bill Dudley Jr. and Matt Piston. And there are none on the 15th. And then for anniversaries, there are also none on the 15th. Uh, but on the 14th, we'll celebrate anniversaries with Amy and Reese Young and Kata and Greg Randall. Uh, so celebrate with them this week. All right. Well, I hope to see you at Shrove Tuesday and Ash Wednesday. Uh, and then we will have our regular services on Sunday. Uh, so make sure you come on out and we hope that you have a wonderful week. So let's get those alleluias in. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Bye, everyone.